Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back uh, to the second part of this SSM Digital Roundtable. Uh, before the break, we discussed the medium-term impact uh, of COVID-19 on the financial sector. Of course, also acute issues uh, popped up. What are the takeaways? Everybody, of course, takes his own lessons. For me, uh, it was striking that the, one of the most used words were accelerating. So obviously, the COVID-19 reinforces specific trends which have, which have been there before. But so are the new challenges only the old ones? Profitability, capitalization, digitalization, negative interest rates, environment, and so on? Well, to a certain extent, of course, the answer is yes, but um, the challenge is become much more pressing. Um, they pop up in a new environment, economically, of course, uh, but uh, also we see other uh, markets. We see a digital openness of uh, customers and markets as well. So, uh, and the challenges um, will be faced by a banking system which has been hit by the crisis and which is damaged and uh, needs to be repaired after the pandemic. The transformation ahead, of course, can indeed need lead to a healthier, to a more robust and a more profitable sector in Europe, but also the opposite. So that depends in the first place from you, the management of the banks, but of course also uh, from lawmakers, regulators, central banks, supervisors, which can of course create a supportive environment uh, for, the, for the recovery. And here we are in the midst of uh, EU politics, and now we want to ask what political responses the banking sector can expect on the European level? How can policymakers already take a medium-term perspective into account today? And what role, of course, can the German EU Council presidency play here? I'm very much forward, uh, looking forward uh, to the voice of Olaf Scholz, the acting chair of the ECOFIN Council. But before we start, let us turn to Carsten Lehr uh, for some more food for thought. Carsten, given your role in the Frankfurt Institute for Risk Management and Regulation, you are in close contact with the market's participants. Uh, so what does the industry expect from the EU right now? Well, thank you very much, Joachim for the template, uh, and uh, especially these two uh, topics we discussed in the first uh, two panels is what our members and we in firm are dealing with. So the digitalization and of course the impact of COVID-19. Um, first of all, let me make some, some uh, overall remarks. Uh, so Europe banks and a lot of members in firm belongs to those groups, are set to take a large financial hit from the COVID-19 uh, crisis, both in credit losses and in several years' worth of weaker earnings that are expected to follow. After a decade of strengthening balance sheets, uh, however, the industry looks sufficiently robust to sustain the economic shock and expected credit losses. Our members have worked very hard to maintain their operations and to support their customers during the lockdowns thus far, and they are partnering with governments to protect the economy. Some goodwill in short supply for years is being replenished. In this conference today, we therefore look at whether this COVID-19 crisis is a moment that could bring about more far-reaching and much-needed changes in the industry. Given that, Industry growth is expected to be low. Improved returns of the banks will need to come from reducing costs or capital intensity. As you mentioned, Joachim, cost reduction is not a new theme for European banks, but maybe at a new level of ambition can be set on operational efficiency, for example, through digitalization. Banks on their own probably will not deliver the, the new banking system in Europe. 
or the system Europe needs. This will take collective endeavor from management and shareholders, but also employee groups, regulators, and policymakers. Individual bank transformation programs will not be successful without shareholder support, and broader reforms are also necessary outside of individual institutions. For us in firm, a bold vision of Europe's financial systems can be imagined as robust, providing great services for customers, built on modernized infrastructure, and govern in Europe's best interests in the vanguard of social challenge. And so we are trying to work in an active role in this development, and we are looking forward uh, to the answers from a political perspective. And I see Minister Scholz, a warm welcome. And uh, for summarizing, let's say, the exhortations on firm, uh, first, never waste a good crisis, and second, aim for revival and not just survival.